Hello and welcome to my garden. It won't be the biggest garden you've ever been in and it probably won't have the most unusual plants that you've ever seen. But it's fantastic for me, I love it. Ten years ago I was diagnosed with Parkinson's and I knew that the large slopy garden of the house we lived in then wouldn't be possible for me to maintain. So we decided to look for not a new house, but a new south facing flat garden. And we found this bungalow with what at the time looked like a field with a few straggly trees and a lot of rubbish at the top of the garden. And over the last eight years since we've been here, we've developed this garden. My Parkinson's is very tremor dominated and I get a lot of un uncomfortable cramps and I get fatigued and I get very anxious from time to time and when I'm in this garden I feel peaceful I can do things I can get my exercise I stretch like I've done when I'm planting out things I've got um, the dexterity in my fingers to do it and when I need a rest there's lots of places to sit down and look at the garden and enjoy it and I feel calm in this garden. As we walk around the garden you'll see there's, it's an all year round garden. There's been lovely spring bulbs and hellebores of which I've got 11 different ones. The tulips have been fantastic although they're past their best now and it'll be about a month before we get into the other perennials which will be out then, the peonies which are fantastic and the display of rose, roses and azaleas at the top of the garden which are magical when they're all out together. We've got a little wildlife pond and then we've got a range of different perennials and as we walk around the garden you'll see there's quite a few nooks and crannies filled with my treasures, I call them peacocks and my arty farty bit of tat which I think is very rude. At the top of the garden, when we cleared it all out, we made three raised beds which were supposedly for vegetables, but we quickly realised that the overhanging trees meant they were too shady. So now I've got one for raspberries and rhubarb and salads. The middle one I'm experimenting with a wildflower garden and the end one is our take on a little Japanese garden after a trip to Japan a couple of years ago. And at the end there's a lovely shady area where I've got a lot of different hostas. I'm very fond of hostas. I've got a greenhouse which I spend a lot of time in. I like that because I can do restful things there. I've got some interesting aces and camellias and as you walk around the garden you can come into my little secret area which is again designed to be peaceful and it's where I sit and read my book. We've also got a very nice summer house which Pete built a couple of years ago where we sit and have a cup of tea in the afternoon or perhaps a gin and tonic. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour around the garden. It's a pity you can't be here in person because you could finish off then if you were with a cream tea or if you came in the evening a glass of wine and listened to live music. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed talking about it and looking at the pictures again of my garden. And it really is extremely therapeutic for me and I'm sure for other people who visit because it is a very peaceful, calm place. Thank you.